We're back at it. Here we are. Um, talk about with Lus. I'm your host, Lus. Another lovely day. You never, uh, you know, just vibing on the couch per usual. We have a guest on my left per usual. Um, it's actually a very cool episode, I think. It's going to be dope. The fact is, is like, it's my first time interviewing a person that does a podcast. So yeah. It's like, and I feel like for you, it's also cool because like, Instead of being the podcaster, you're the podcastee on this one. Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's good to you be get on the other side. chill a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Like chill a little bit. Um, I can talk more shit and not be politically correct. There you go. Yeah. But before we get too deep into <laughs> yeah. it, I'm going to let him say- Can we curse? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, all day. Yeah. But um, go ahead and say your Instagram, like all your handlers and so all that. So do the that. plug. Okay. First of all, yours truly, this is your boy, Road Dollar. Check me out at Road Dollar TV. Like and subscribe at Road Dollar TV. I appreciate my man Lust for- Bring me into his world. I love this pleasure, sexy pleasure. shit that you got going on. It's like a <laughs> hippie surfer, a Caribbean type vibe. And and we gonna get it in, man. Let's let's vibe. Let's keep drinking the agua diente and talk shit, man. I'm hey, down. We're here. We're here. But yeah, man. This is um, I kind of as an artist, I've always done um just like regular 2D painting. So when I came to this space, like you said, it's like the vibe. Like um, I kind of took it as upon myself to make it like a 3D installation of like art, you know, right. and then make it more like of my personality in life. Right. Cause even with the little couple seconds that we talked earlier, you kind of was like, you kind of like picked little points of my life that kind of like just stick out, I guess. Right, right, and you right. were able to like pick it pretty good. Oh yeah, you know man, I, mean? yeah, yeah, I, I gauge it. Yeah. I gauge it, I've been around, man. I'm a fucking dinosaur, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I've been around and I, cause I could tell from, you know, you, you be around people, if you're socially inclined, yeah. keyword, if you're socially inclined, <laughs> you're gonna kind of read people and, and know the angle and 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 just kind of go off their vibe and the energy, you know what I'm saying? And with you, man, I, I can tell you're an artist first and foremost oh, in many ways, sure. not just the fucking drawing patents and yeah, shit. Yeah, just yeah. your whole vibe is artistic. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate, appreciate and you know, that. See, now I'm getting into fucking interview mode. Let me stop. I'm the guest. You know, I'm about nah, to like nah, ask nah, you nah, questions. Nah. Yo, how you did all this? No, nah, but but, um, but besides that, because you kind of like we talked about a little bit, like my background. Tell us a little bit about, about your background, like where you came from. Where you where you well, at now? You know all that good stuff. Oh yeah, you know? I could do this shit. Um, I'm originally from New York City. I'm from the Bronx, New York. Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying the boogie. Um, then I moved to Florida many moons ago, and then I, I relocated to Houston, Texas. Okay, okay. Um, you know, made my bones in Houston. Good, bad, and ugly. Uh, shout out to H Town. Hey, and then um, I love it. You know, I cut my background is honestly, you know, check it out too. I got a I got a documentary on Amazon Prime I right now. I saw that about Road that. Dollars, Road to the Riches, Part Two is coming. Okay, okay. And I come from the nightclub atmosphere, so I used to own a bunch of nightclubs, after hours strip clubs. I all was, in Houston. All in Houston, okay. and then um, I got out the business, and then I got into the podcast world, and uh, I I found it was a a career change, but it's something that I I, I really enjoy doing passionately. Cause you know I'm naturally a motor mouth. I like to talk yeah, to yeah. people and but entertainment comes you know in mean? many different ways. Yeah, man. you feel me? You so I mean? and and um then you know I'm, I'm back and forth South Florida. I'm everywhere. South Florida. Do you have Atlanta. any um bar, like businesses like bars and clubs over here in Florida? No, not at all. No? Not at all. Not at all. That's not a whole different all. venture. Whole but I know different... Texas gets down. Yeah, bro. Texas. You gets guys down. are your own fucking. Yeah, we, yeah, we party. You guys are own country. It's a drinking fucking <laughs> state, man. It's our own country, man. No, it is, bro. It's a like you guys got your own laws. Nothing you guys else do your own matters, nah, but in yeah. Texas is like and we Houston's party. Something else, bro. Yeah, Houston is the to me one of the best cities in the world, and like you said, it's its own it. country, man. Bro, and I, I fuck with Houston because to me it almost reminds me. Cause even though it's like more modern in a way, cause like development and wise, it reminds me of old Hollywood. Yeah. And it still has like it's coming up, but it's still homey town, like hood shit. See like, what you said though? That's dope that you said that because a lot of people don't understand. Like, you know, if you've never been there, you think, oh, that's just some cowboy shit. Oh, no, hell no. Nah. It's modern as fuck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. There's so and there's so many different areas of it. Bro. It could be like yuppie. City, metropolitan, you know what I mean? And another thing that I fuck with it too, because not even a bash on anyone. So like the hood niggas here don't really have, and I always say it too, is like the sun kind of burns your head. Like they're not like, they're more about licks instead of like making an actual real gig or like a real like jig, like making a real business and making a plan. But they want to do the sprint, not the marathon. Yeah. But Houston, another thing is like I like about Houston is like if if someone respectfully fucks with you and likes you, they're gonna support you. They're gonna have your back. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. But another thing is like 
yeah, you you grow up in the streets, you grow all that hustle, but you always find a way to make it into a business. A lot of people here get stuck on that hood mentality and get stuck. I could honestly say that Houston, and this is through my experience living there, if you have ambition, you can become a very successful entrepreneur oh, yeah. because the opportunities are grand. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? I, I can't speak on Florida because, like I said, I haven't no, lived no, here no, in no. years. But out there, it's like, you know, say you, you bought a million peanuts from yeah. Puerto Rico <laughs> and you want to sell a million peanuts for a dollar, you can become a millionaire yeah. in Houston yeah, yeah. for selling the peanuts. You know what no, I'm saying? hell yeah, bro. I, and I feel like there's a lot in Houston that um, there's a lot of people just like using a, like an old school term, mom and pop. Popping and kind of thing. Yeah. It's like there's a lot, a lot of personal, pop. like a lot of like personal hustlers. It's not like yeah, a lot of independent entrepreneurs yep, out there. A lot for sure, and like, I like it, man. The 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 tattoo world, the art world. Uh, there's so That's many, a, so many industries, man. It's yeah. like endless, bro. Like it's big. But it's the. I feel like over there it must be hard to be an artist because it's like, like in let's say in Jamaica. Everyone can sing. It's like Hawaiians, y'all. The yeah. motherfuckers can sing. Yeah. But in Mexicans, they can tap, bro. They can draw. Right. So like, there's so many out there that yeah. is like, yeah. Compared to here, bro, there's tattoo shops everywhere, but they're all booked. Mm -hmm. And they and the crazy thing is, like, compared to Florida, Houston has that art culture. Yeah, it's in the blood. Art is in yeah. their blood. The tattoo industry is a big deal out in Houston. Huge. Man. I mean, a Latino guy does all my shout out to uh, to Chopper Taylor Inc. Hey. 1981. That's my guy. He does a lot of my work. But the, the, the Latinos are a very big community in doing a lot of ink work out there. Oh you know yeah, what I'm yeah. But, but there's a heritage, bro. Yeah, it's. A, I mean, yo, listen. They man. take it with pride. That needle ain't no punk. They use that needle like as a pencil. You know, oh, y'all yeah, do. Y'all yeah. use it like a pencil. Yeah. You know yeah. What I mean? And it's funny because like I tattoo. Um, I tattooed Carly and the whole thing is like, she even said the other day, it was like, I'm not going to lie, when you tattoo, you kind of draw. Yeah, like at the beginning, it looks like scratchy, but once you're done, he's like, you really build it up. And it's like, I mean, it is what it is. It's black Forgive and gray. Forgive my ignorance. Let me tell you something. I got a fucking back piece in one sitting. It took about, <laughs> yeah, I got a back. I'm a fucking extreme personality, dog. Like, I, like yo, I just want the whole shit done. I, I don't mean, want to come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we sat in this Aggressive. fucking studio for like 13 <laughs> hours, right? Believe it. And I'm just thugging it out, getting the ink work done, right? But I found out after it was done, there was numbing cream. Oh, yeah. I knew nothing about numbing cream. But that should be low-key kind of fucking you up. But, yo, let me tell you something, man. The, the hardest work and peace I got. The back, I wouldn't wish that shit on nobody. Oh, no, no. Oh, I always oh, joked around. and was like, I don't know how the fuck back in the days there was a God. bunch of women walking around with trans stamps. Because their shits were fucking like a dime a dozen. Man. It was like, I feel Could like homegirls like, though. I hate this bitch. I'm going to tell her to get a chance yeah. and tell her it's cute. Yeah. Because that shit sucks, bro. Definitely could label it. Yo, <laughs> what's your name again? Oh, I forgot your name. Wait, turn around. Let me look at the back. No, oh, yeah, yeah. I hit you before. But yeah. to have that many tattoos <laughs> back in the 90s, but back mm. in the 90s, there were so many trans tabs, you would think that tattoo didn't hurt, bro. Mm. And it's probably one of the worst like areas to get tattooed. Like right above the butt cracking up. Tough. Yo. Those handles. You know what got you know what got me through my back piece? They had Hennessy. that spray, that cold spray. No. It's oh, this shit. Like like Bengay Icy Hot. It's shit? some spray where it freezes the shit. What the fuck is it called, like man? To take off warts? Nah, nah. It's that's like, another it's freezing. Shit. It's like a spray. You know what I'm talking about? It's like an antiseptic spray, but it's cold. Mm. And you spray the shit so you don't itch. But that shit probably has like lidocaine in it. it that's what it had. It has to that's have what it had like right a low there. dose. I, how you say that word? Lidocaine. Lidocaine. Yeah, yeah. So I went to Walgreens, nigga. I bought like fucking a dozen of them shits. No, you know what you so can I'm buy now? Even if like everything. nowadays, if you don't want to get too deep into the numbing cream, um, Bactin, bro. Bactin has a, like a, a 0.4. Of lidocaine in it or like a four Man, give me that dope. I don't give a fuck. What was in that no, shit? Bro, there's, there's new shit. ones. That shit made my back feel good. Those Japanese ones now, yeah. bro, you you can cut your arm off. Bro, that was a... I, I, I hate to keep pressing it, but I'm just... I'm getting flashback because I'm traumatized by it. That was the most... And that, is that your longest pain, session? Man. Compared to your head? Come, my head was light work. I was fucking on a bottle of Chirac. Yeah. I didn't give a fuck. You no, know what I'm saying? It's funny because I tell people all the time because I got my, my head shit. done too and it's like... Yo, that has to hurt so bad. And I was like, ah. Oh. This shit, this hairline made me 10 years younger, baby. I didn't give a fuck, nigga. Lighten my shit up. <laughs> it's funny, I'm not gonna lie. When you came yeah. in, it like the way they did it, it looks like a fade, even like, though it's a piece. Yes, yes. Just shout out to Chop on that. I, told I went man. aggressive. Yeah, man. But it's because I knew I was gonna have like a lot of I like of your face hair. piece though, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got all that from the homies. But um yeah. the thing is, um, 
Yeah, that the fate, and it's funny because people always like not too long ago. I can't wear, remember where it was up, where it was at, but the lady comes up to me and is like, "Wow, did that really hurt a lot?" That's the, the first cheapy. question. And it's no, like, but fuck it, it was fun. Yeah, and that's a, another did it crazy hurt? thing. No, it was like, fun. I yeah. enjoyed somebody yeah. digging a needle into me. Yeah, I had a great so it's like time. Crazy to even fuck ask that question, here. but in my the faces are the probably easiest tats in your whole body. Yeah, as I think only because of a man we shave so much. Yeah, and it's just that exfoliation feels like like it's and it gets exposed to the air a lot. Yeah, and if anything, it hurts more when it's like healing. The Have you ever inked yourself? Oh yeah, my whole left leg. Man, so you sit there and air. I mean, if you ask any artist, they that's how you fucking get your trial like, and error and shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I fucked up that one. Let yeah, me yeah. Like okay. I still have my first one. I was nineteen, little outlines and fucking bullshit like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. But besides that, it's like that's literally like your resume to get into a shop. Like I don't and then there's an artist, she's she's a chick and she talks about like and she's really pretty and she's like, everyone always asks me like would I ever cover up these leg tattoos? But it's like and they're fucked up. You got like so you got leggies. Yeah, you got yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't got no legs. No, I, I, I ain't gonna this front one I actually just got done by my homeboy. I'm just saying it's pressure. Oh, the I just did. I just did nine hours on my thigh by Drew Damas, God. and he's a Houston guy, killer, killer artist. Yo, no homo, but like the balls and shit. Ah, uh, that's what I did with my homie. And it was, God, I just, I mean, yeah. most of the time it's just like, yeah, like pause, nigga, nigga yeah. drawing on my shit. No, nah, but either way, out. it's not like, I, yeah. like, bro, I know Drew for fucking more than five years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, you know, so it's like my brother, but at the same time, it's not. I wouldn't go to some random other take showers. Yeah, and shit, yeah, yeah, be clean. Yeah, 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 yeah. but another Hygiene, thing is, because no, bro, I've been in some conventions and I'm holding my fucking breath yeah. for a check. You know uh, what I yeah. mean? Uh, yeah. Like, and then you get like you go to weird ass states. The niggas tattooing you gotta brush their teeth though. I ain't gonna front. Oh like, no, there's a couple so other I'm niggas a, that had mission niggas. Breath was bad. So I used nigga. to do a lot of microblading. Yeah, and I used to do like girls fucking permanent makeup, and. Ever since then, I've always been a gum guy. Floss, motherfucker, yeah. No, but I'm, I always... Not you. Yeah, I know yeah. you on point. Not nah, you. I'm just nah, saying... No, 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 no. I've had some incidents with motherfucker, you know, because there's different people no, doing no, shit. No, no, of course. And they like right in your mix. Oh, and you're bro. just like, fuck. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? And another thing, if you talk about old head tattoo artists, they're not the most fucking convenient looking yeah. people. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're not the man. most clean Hygiene either. is fucking everything. That flower shit is so dope, bro. I mean, sorry, it's off the subject, but I'm like still scoping hey. your whole shit. This is like... That's there's actually I feel a funny like I'm in story. Punta Canta, nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I hear that. <laughs> you know what I mean? But we actually got that from some lady because I'm little, of... I ain't gonna front though. You ain't got no Jamaican flags up here, but you know, I, I still you know got love funny? for you though, fam. I still got love So my boy's Jamaican. My boy's Jamaican. He's like, bro, I need... Everybody else in here, nigga, but you ain't got no Jamaican The thing flag, is, like, I, I'm not gonna cheat, and I've never really been to Jamaica like that. You know what I mean? You got so, it. Like, it's got, you these gotta are get the all stamp. places I've been to. You gotta get the stamp. Yeah. Respect. Respect. Could Which I one get, is that one right there? The blue and yellow shit. Um, Bahamas. Okay. Yeah, the Bahamas. And I used to go there all fucking day, bro. Yeah. As a so young. So how long you been tattooing for? So um, basically tattooed because I was getting a lot of tattoos, and then eventually she's like, "Hey, you should go buy a kit." I bought a kit from eBay. It's organic. And it's been a wrap. It's, just, and it's been a wrap, bro. And then it's, it's crazy because I always did it for fun. I, I was self-taught for five to six years, and then I opened up a bar, which is dope that you even said that you came from the bar scene yeah. and all that club shit. I did that shit. Early mornings, short days, and long nights. Because low-key- um, My liver's was fucked off. No, that shit was dope because it was like legal fucking drug dealing, bro. Yeah, very smart man. Because the perspective that you got on it, a lot of people don't look at it that way. But um, you know what I mean that that, that are very we good? smart man. I mean, we good? No, no, yeah. Copacetic. So, so, and the reason why I'm saying that because like, it's legal drug dealing, bro, and like liquor. Yeah, bro, and it's a lick. Yeah. <laughs> so you've been in a bar game. You my guy, man. That, no, that, no, you get it. You get like, it. Very lucrative if you know what you're doing. Another thing is to like give some back, like back point and all that shit. It's like again, bro, I'm 35. Just turned 35 on Friday. Like, I grew up in New York. Happy belated. Hey. Tres cinco. Hey, solid, bro. We're not yeah. supposed to, you know? Tres cinco. <laughs> but, yeah. um, so yeah, I grew up in New York, bro, in, in fucking late 80s, bro. So you saw all the dope heads. You saw niggas come up. You saw all that shit. You heard about it. And it's just like, and then my uncles and all that shit had uncles tied up in that bullshit. So you kind of grow up into that hustle mentality that eventually, 
Obviously, like when I was a kid, I sold lollipops, you know, by the sack, by selling each for a quarter, right. make fucking thirty bucks off a five dollar bag, you know. Yeah. And then eventually, so you, you done, get into you done the grunt work, bro. Right. Right. So I even then you get into the dirty get work, outside. yeah. <laughs> and then you eventually learn the dirty work, and then yeah. you be like, bro, we can't be doing, yeah. can't be selling shit all our lives. And then I would you say, in, pick your poison. Yeah, you know I mean. Some poison you could withstand, some poison you can't, yeah. you know what I mean? And I can tell you, sometimes you don't even... I mean, liquor's the biggest lick, you know? Yeah. But even beer, bro. I was buying beers for a quarter to 50 yeah. cents. And yeah. I'm talking about Modelo's Coronas. Yeah, yeah, selling yeah. Selling for $5, bro. Yeah, yeah. Emptying out a fucking $1,500, like a fifteen, a fifteen, um, 1500 case fridge. The hustle's real. In one night, bro. The hustle's real. So it was fucking like... Fucking right, had to cool in the back bro. of the trunk, nigga. Bro, you want to party? Keep going, baby. Yo, come on, man. It was nuts. Listen, and it was like, nigga, they like three rails in a club, nigga. I'm fucking thirsty, yeah. nigga. I mean, like, yeah. And it was cool, bro. And yeah. I, it's funny because, like, I started that shit when I was 25, 26 years old. Yeah. And I sold graffiti paint. So I was, like, distributing, like, German yeah, you paint. you from New York, nigga. You better have some hustle oh. in you, nigga. I'll be disappointed. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. You and it's funny because. And you like, Dominican, too. Y'all niggas run shit. Y'all the plug. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's almost like crazy. Joking. We're, this is just a joke about that. I have nothing to do with anything of that nature of business. It's just from. Hearsay. Yeah, that's what hearsay. Talking about, like, yes, sir. Legal hustles, bro. Yeah, legal hustles. This is all legitimate yeah, right here. Yes, 100%. sir. Hundred percent. Nah, that's but dope. nah, bro. But so it's like, and it's funny because even like one time we were in Uber and we were going on a flight and the lady is like, "Where are you from?" And I was like, "From Florida." And I've been here, bro, fucking twenty three years. Mm -hmm. And sure, fucking, I have my like aspects of Florida, like my animals, as you saw when you came in and shit. But it's yeah. like. The lady's like, she kept like digging, bro, the whole yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. And it was like, what do they call it? So prying? Where are you from? Prying? Yeah. Really? And oh, I was are like, you prying? Well, I was actually born, Rebecca, are you prying? Yeah. I was actually you want to know what I do for a living, I knew Rebecca? It. I knew yeah. it. And I was like, yeah. you can't have that shit, bro. Yeah. It's a different mindset. Yeah. I think I think what what you and I definitely have in common is that um, we fit a certain stereotype. But they don't understand that there is a lot a lot of entrepreneurship and intelligence behind. The, the demeanor and 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 you know after a while the older you get the more you accept the fact that you know people are going to think what they want to think until they know you who gives a oh, fuck suck bro. a dick pause you know what i'm saying yeah but i get it man i th I think yo I, yeah when i came in there i was like fucking reptilian and what the fuck that's my shit <laughs> <laughs> and then you got fucking naked cats and shit nigga i was bugging the fuck out at first nah. man i was like yo <laughs> i'm actually right <laughs> fuck now they got me it's a setup man what the fuck ingrid got i'm looking at ingrid crazy like yo he got me going man I mean, nah but know. Right now, it's funny because like right now, I'm actually working on my venomous license mm -hmm. and my crocodilian license through my boy Tyler. Shout out to Tyler Nolan, but um, yeah, that boy, he's lit, bro. He's Florida as fuck. He's like one of the few people that actually has a venomous license. This motherfucker. The venomous has license. Educate me. What the fuck is that? So he literally, <laughs> so he basically can handle and he can handle, breed, care, do whatever, um, venomous snakes. So this motherfucker has bush vipers, king cobras. He has, as pets. As pets, bro. And they're sick, bro. And he and the dope part is right now, so like, so he actually is building, he has like a shed, but it's a nice shed. It's like a, a like a one wide trailer. And he Fuck. built a tattoo shop inside of it. And then the rest is a snake room. He has like 89 snakes. All that venomous. nigga tattoo work better be dope. Oh, For bro. a nigga to walk up in there with, with snakes. You, you could, if you watch Ink Masters on season five, he's very like neo-traditional. Right. But, but bro, bright colors, dope as shit. He's wow. funny as fuck, bro. But um, you know, you know who I, I I knew like a famous, real, real famous tattooist was um, um, there was on that ink uh that, that Chicago black ink, and I forgot her name, but she was the heavy set chick that was in the Chicago black ink, and she did some work somewhere around here. I don't remember where, but she did some work on me when she was a nobody. My man was getting a tattoo from her, and then, and she was doing it dumb cheap. So I'm like, yo, she, yo yeah, let me get yeah. something real quick, and then like. Yo, no bullshit. This is how life works. Five years later, I'm watching this motherfucker on TV. I forgot her name. She was like a heavy set chick, dark black hair, gothic, but she was, eh, you know what I mean? Like no, no, real, no. real. Yeah. Sounds familiar. But there, a lot that at that time there was they looked almost like that, and then they got the money and they got all good. And, That's kind of fucked up. That you remember that guy? You so see, you speaking of reptilian shit. You know what came to my head? You remember the motherfucker that got stung by the stingray? Oh, and Steve this Irwin. plot right here is a real yeah, good Steve plot. Irwin. And then the motherfucker just got stung by the stingray. Steve Irwin. Yeah, Steve Irwin. Yeah. yeah. Steve yeah. yeah. Uh, R.I.P. Like but he ain't to each his own, you know? No, his, his, bro, his fucking son. The Australian motherfucker. Yeah. Um, his son actually has like a fucking whole zoo and they like exhibit and he does shows. Wow. And my cousin went was on Australia and he just saw his what son. What a fucking go, living, bro, huh? Dope, though. What a living. That kid's killing it.
God. His dad left such a dope ass legacy for him. I'm scared bro. of a fucking it's garden state, nigga. I don't yeah, much less vipers and fucking. But you're only scared of it because of like lack of knowledge of it. If you knew a little bit more and how to handle it, bro, why would you be scared? It's a serpent, man. I feel like, bro. Nah. Can't trust the snake, man. Nah, you could. Let me tell you a story. It's all about, a vibe. Let me you tell, you, read let me it, tell you a story my Puerto Rican dude told me. What's up? <laughs> so there was this it. there was this guy, right? This old man. He's cutting his lawn. Yeah. And his son would come out and give him lemonade and shit. So he's cutting his lawn. And he was cutting his lawn. The lawnmower ran over the stake. Chopped him a little bit. So the son came out and was like, oh my God, dad, the snake, the snake. So dad was like, man, fuck that snake. You know what I'm saying? That's a fucking yeah. snake. Don't trust no snake. Yeah. Son was like, you know, sympathetic for the snake. He was like, no, dad, dad, we got to save the snake. Because you know, a snake, yeah. if you put it together, the motherfucker will heal up. You know, them niggas is reptilians, right? No. Nah. Or some shit like that. I don't know. I, mean, I know they stay alive though. Them niggas stay alive. You cut, a, you cut pieces of them niggas. They two grow hours. back. No, no, two hours. Oh no, no, that's true. Yeah, you cut pieces of them niggas. But they grow thing back. Is, like, people don't know. If that's you like cut, if you cut our finger, our shit ain't gonna grow back. There's a, like for a snake, there's a two step. Like to kill a snake, you chop the head and then you stab them in the head. Yeah, because they can still bite you up to two hours. See, so, so this, the story, the story is gonna be very resurrecting for Let's you. Go. Okay, so now, so the the, the 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 dad takes up the fucking snake, the injured snake. And the son conned the dad into taking the snake inside. And okay. dad like, man, fuck this snake. But so like, no, dad, it's an animal. We gotta save the snake or whatever. Yeah. So he took the snake inside. So every day the fucking the fucking snake, the uh, the, the, the son is nurturing the snake, yeah, taking yeah. care of the snake, taking care of the snake, right? So then finally the dad comes and the snake's healed up. So the snake's like, yo, you know, just hypothetically speaking, yeah. the snake's talking to the kid, man, yeah. I appreciate you taking care of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my tail was fucked up. You patch me up. Yeah. You give me rats to eat, nigga. You yeah. get me my health back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So then, so then, <laughs> let's do this shit. True, yo, this is a fucking story my man told me. So then the dad goes in. He's like, yo, get rid of that snake. The son is like, no, the snake's my friend. I'm feeding him. I'm taking care of him. Yeah. I'm healing him up. I'm taking care of the snake, right? Yeah. So then one day the snake got his strength back. A couple weeks passed by, the snake's fucking strong again. Niggas fangs is back to work. Niggas got a belly, done ate like 60 rats. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So now the snake's like, the son's like, man, dad, the dad's like, get rid of the fucking snake, right? So then the snake gets his strength back. Niggas start slithering yeah. around. So the son coming back from school and shit, go check on his friend, the snake. So when he go check on his friend, the snake, snake looked at him and went, <laughs> bit that motherfucker, right? Excuse me. Yeah. So when he bit that motherfucker, the son sat there and the son's like, fuck dad. He runs to his dad. The snake bit me. The snake bit me. So the dad had to like suck out the venom yeah. and do all that primitive shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he goes, why the snake bit me? And so the dad said, I told you, motherfucker, don't trust the fucking snake. So the moral of the story is you can't trust the snake because when you heal the motherfuckers up, they'll bite you back. Oh, yeah. And you know I believe saying? it. I mean... And Fucking my just snake. my philosophy, I, I, you know what I mean? I, still, I thought the story was look, a gem. No, no, just no. the saying, you know. No, but my snake, even though like it's like that, like, you don't that saying you don't bite the hand that feeds you. Yeah, a snake don't give a fuck about that. Snake don't give a fuck, nah. nigga. It's a predator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Predator. Well, that's adorable. That's right. a dope. Part yeah, but it. I respect your your pets. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. I, res <laughs> I respect. I hear you. I hear you. I respect you. you but man. even the funny thing that you even brought that story up is so that one of the snakes in the front we lost it for three months. It got out and it was out oh and loose for three months. Now you got and me shook in here, son. No, nah, but not in here. Crawling out it got it like. got lost at my house, so it was out in the in the wild. I had my snake loose in the streets of Hollywood. Oh my god! The funny gosh. thing is, it made it to the bottom of the house, and my uncle cut the grass the other day, and the snake came out, and it was in my sister's laundry room. Whoa! But that's crazy that you would say that story because that just happened like two days ago. We, the snake was literally lost, and I thought it would be under the like the concrete because it's like a five foot snake. And um yeah, Albinos. this one because like oh yeah, I was watching no. a Kodak video and his no. boys were in the club with snakes no. on their wrist and I said like, that's some Florida nah, shit, bro. You have a dog, yeah, shaved cat, hey. Hey. shaved cat, <laughs> hey, but snakes, fam. That's nah. I guess you know too. It's also like I guess growing. So what up animal do you really fuck with? Yo man, honestly, I'm not a pet lover, but I did experience some pet loving situations. So I had a um. I had a, you remember when Texas had that big um, uh, uh, Hurricane Harvey? Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of houses got washed yeah. away and shit. So I took in a rescue Rottweiler. Oh. And he One was about four months old. Oh. And I named him Bruno. I'm about to get you know real sentimental with this shit, man. Yeah. I named him Bruno. And let me tell you something. One of the most loyal animals is a rescue dog. 
Oh, I bet. They love the fuck. You My could... naked cat is a rescue. And that really? so thankful. He, yeah. Every day. He gratefully. Like, yeah, no, you. you're right. You're right, man. <laughs> and I grew, you know, I kept him. I groomed him. He got bigger. And he was a beautiful dog. He was actually um, American and British uh, Rottweiler. So he was handsome in the face, but yeah, narrow yeah. face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love that dog. And he got big. Like, he got to 160 oh, yeah. pounds. And, you know, due to certain circumstances, we had to let him go because he got too big for the house. And then outside, he was fucking shit up. Oh, yeah. And Those then, are high energy dogs. Those yeah, are man. Need to so run. we got rid of him. But that was probably my only pet encounter where I got some sentimental values yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah. But other than that, man, I that was don't actually do like pets. my family dog. Like the dog that I always had was a Rottweiler. Yeah. And then um, after a while, I kind of started switching it up. But now I have a Dogo, bro. And that's probably the strongest dog a I've who? ever had. A Dogo. What's a Dogo? A Dogo Argentino. So a Dogo Argentino is like... I am a, stupid when it comes to that shit. No, what, it's what a, is that like? So it's like a pure... It's a top breed. It's what they use to make other dogs. So let's say like a King Corso. Oh, okay. So it's a black... I, see that dog right there? What you said, a King Corso? Yeah. I fucks with him. So that's, that's my an dog That's an Italian dog, ain't it? Um, I'm just going to kill like bulls Spanier. and shit. Yeah, yeah Spaniel. Spaniel. Big a, fucking... Yeah, so yeah. they're King's dogs. They're yeah. used to kill lions. Royal shit. Yeah, yeah. So mine's yeah. a King Corso. He's all white. I love white. that. A King Corso. I'm it's funny because I walk him and people would go up to me and say, do you teach him to walk like that? I was like, nah, that dog just knows he's a shit, It's like bro. automatic like alarm bro. system too, right? Yeah, bro. Yeah. Insane. And it's like him, he has ticks. So I can go like, and he'll go over and look on a tree and he'll fucking, bro, he'll destroy shit. But I swear to God, I had Rottweilers and like, they'll yoke me, but this dog yokes me, bro. And once he's like, yeah, they strong as fuck, man. Bro, strong. Mm -hmm. It's funny because there's a comedian that talks about getting one, and the guy was like, he asked him, like, are you going to let your dog sleep in the bed with you? And he was like, I don't know, maybe. My I heard dog. they're very protective, though, with like kids and like with, with the family so the household thing, and shit. Yeah. So the only thing I had an issue with him. Any kid that was uh, uh, at his eye le level, you got to be careful. Because he'll let you pet him like a kid. Well, he might chew your fucking arm oh, off. Oh, bro. There's so many times even with my son, I would be scared because he's so nice. He's happy. But there's something that just tricks him and he turns into like a, a predator. Like he wants to kill it. And that's the same thing with little animals. Yeah, it's a cold he'll world. play with them. He'll play with them. And then one second, they've like, it nudges them. And it's just like. Ow. I'm going to tell you what the gangster ammo is. The domestic gangster animal. <laughs> what is it? Fucking raccoon. Oh, they're bro, fucking OG. thugs, man. I used to, bro. Gak raccoons bro. are thugs, man. I actually had a raccoon G check me one I'm time. I'm telling you, yo, I was jogging on the beach. Raccoons are thugs, I man. They are fearless but too. They're the smallest bear. Yeah. So now you understand why they are thugs. They're, they're what? bears. They're bears. They're bears. They're just a smaller version. Yeah, it's the smallest version of a bear. Get the fuck out but of here. I was running one time down on the like on the beach and there was a raccoon eating and he heard me. I swear to God, that motherfucker turned around and postured up and I just saw him do that. Hey, and yo. I ran across the street and I swear the raccoon just went. And I was like, bro, I'm not going I'm down the street yo, again. They, gang they gangster, man. Yo. yo, I was throwing out, I was throwing out <laughs> some trash in like a, a, a big dumpster at one of my clubs. I'll never forget it. And I don't know what the fuck I was doing. The bar back wasn't around. And I'm hearing Oh, bro. Like, they scavenging through yeah. the, the garbage. So I'm throwing it. I'm like, oh, Trash shit. Panda, I see bro. that. You know, I'm jumping like, get the fuck out of here. I'm trying to, like, talk loud so he could run. Nigga stopped and looked at me like, the fuck is you looking at, nigga? Like, what's good? You know, what we doing? <laughs> no, no, they don't run. They don't run. No, and, no, like, no, he no, flexed no. up on yeah. me. Raccoons are thugs. No, they are. Gangs. I stay far away from them. They carry rabies, I heard. So We're talking like, about fucking raccoons, but, you know, it is what it is. No, no, I know. Yeah. But the thing is, is, like... So they could have rabies, but the thing is they actually have like an antibody, like a possum, that kind of regulates it. Yeah, they can you carry. Know? They're carriers. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, they can niggas, carry, but it'll it fuck me and you up. Yeah. Them exactly. niggas like, fuck you, nigga, fuck yeah. with me. I'm going to give you the germ. Yeah. yeah. Cold world. But nah, bro, they're tough. I actually okay, work. Can I get some more? That, excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, of I get some more of that, um, yeah, that, that Colombian shit. <laughs> Good shit. Agua like, Aguariente. All day. Yeah. But, um, Licorice. No, Licorice. Talking about raccoon, man. Talking about raccoons, I worked at, so I used to drive boats for a good minute. So I drove this boat called the Jungle Queen, and they had like a little island. It's over here in Fort Lauderdale, super dope. They have like a little comedian, Hawaiian guy, toss some fire shit. Then you eat peel and eat them shrimps, and they have a bunch of rescue animals. But um, they have a cage with three raccoons, and I used to fucking like volunteer. A cage with three raccoons? Rescue okay. raccoons. Okay, okay. Bro, those things are so dope. And like their hands, bro, they're like real fingers and like they'll grab your hands. They like, bro, 
where you can talk to them and like give them commands or run, bro. Sick. That's dope. That's I love dope. raccoons. I did I've a, always wanted one. I did a um, I did a walk. I got in this fucking. I walked like where where I'm coming, where I was coming from. It was about ten miles. Okay. I just like got on some real Indiana Jones shit. You know what I'm saying? And thank you. Are you usually and, into that shit or what? You know, I, I look at it like this. Like, I, you know, coming back to South Florida, I'll be, I, I be telling my people, like, y'all got it made out here. Like, this is beautiful. Like, Texas is more modern and metro and big and yeah, everything yeah, yeah, is yeah. industrial. And, you know, it's it's power. But here's natural. Here's, like, natural and earthy yeah. and beachy. And then, you know. And then I, a little bit of the modernism. Yeah, and he got the modernness included yeah. in it, too. But I'm like, yo, y'all got all these amenities, right? So I'm walking. I'm, I just got on this fucking, this, like, adventure. So I'm walking up the strip. And I'm walking, I pass all these shops on um on uh, Las Olas or whatever mm-hmm. that place is called. And I'm passing all these shops. Then I get to this area where there's boats. Oh, yeah. And I'm talking, these niggas balling, nigga. Like, I'm, I'm looking Bro. at these boats, right? So then I seen a boat. So I'm walking, I'm, I'm trooping and shit like that. I got my shirt off and shit. I'm like, yo, I could, I'm burning a couple yeah. calories off the belly. You know what I'm saying? Showing yeah. off the tattoos yeah. and shit, hey. you know? Niggas Welcome looking at you crazy, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. So when we get to the boat, there was a Jamaican flag. So that got my attention already. So, yeah. And then you the shit why. was called Mama Mia Montego Bay. Yeah. It's taxes. Ah. So no offense to no one. At the end of the day, it's still a white guy that has a boat. And you might see a different she flag. Shit, I con. I'm like, damn, big up no, to my but no, people. But it's he dope. got the big, not even big to no- bad yeah. boy boat. No, no, no. And not, even, in. and not even to knock our people like, oh, we can't get a boat. We no, get absolutely. A boat. Absolutely, but, bro. bro. These motherfuckers copy, no licks. Copy, copy. So, but you know what? What tripped me out was like I was saying, how the fuck they gonna back that shit out? This shit was huge. So, this you, depending boat on the side, you big. get a tower. What? A tower. Okay. So it's a like a tugboat comes yeah. and pull them out front and back. Oh, because I'm thinking, is Cause that the, shit like a go kart, nigga? You no, can no, drive no, that no. shit around. Or so you? the crazy thing is, like again, I used to drive yachts. The biggest yacht I've driven driven was 180 foot, like out of reach by myself. Cross all the way through the Caribbean and everything. What do you think about that submarine shit? That shit's trippy, huh? I uh, know. I feel like that's some bullshit agenda. Like, hey, really? Think it's like a fucking shit. smoke and mirrors and shit? But, I mean, at the end of the day, who the fuck cares about some rich niggas spending money? You know what I mean? Well, and let's not like, say that. And let's at the same time, that. no, no, because it's like, bro, it's like stunning on all of us. I don't think. I don't think his social status has nothing to do with it. I and think another it, thing is, he's going down thirteen thousand feet. I'm a diver. You know what I mean? Yeah. It just doesn't add up. Like, oh, you're a diver. I would. Yeah, I'm yeah. a. I'm a. I'm a certified rescue diver. And, and like, nigga, you nigga draw a tattoo and you dive, nigga, shit. I want to be in a boat with you, nigga. Some shit oh, fucked up. I At least you, I know you saved hey, me, nigga. I, hey, I know how to give CPR Jump on that nigga nervous. back. Bro, all day. And it's funny because like- We going to make it. Bro, Lusted when, there. We going to yeah, make it. Yeah. Nah, I guarantee. And she even mentioned that the other day. She's like, I like doing shit with you because I do a lot of extreme sports. And that's what I used to do. That was my bread and butter when I was a kid. I was never fully paid, but I was sponsored. You didn't so. drive cigarette boats from no, no. long destinations, did no, you? No, Okay. I'm just, I'm just joking. Just joking. Just, but long just, just joshing. Like, so I take her. She goes hunting with me, and we do all this other shit. Yeah, I fuck hunting. with the hunting. So the cool thing is, like, she's like, she even says, like, I know when you invite me, it's because you feel safe enough to save yourself and me. So it's like. No, it's called, she's smart. Be like, this thing is going to not let me drown. Yeah. That's what that is. And Bro, then, and we flipped the boat. Yeah. With a fucking, at least you can, there's more than. I don't do, I don't do. Multiple I, gators in the area. I got in the invi- middle of the night. I got invited to some deep sea fishing. Oh, bro. But I didn't, I didn't jump. I like, see, where I'm from, or oh, my state of mind is, uh, I'm not going deep sea fishing with people I don't know. Oh, Facts. Because it's an all man for themselves kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? And another thing is like, bro, we're we're from the hood, bro. I mean, there's only one side of a story when there's fucking, the other nigga's dead. So it's like- No face, no case. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So like, it's yeah. like, bro, I'm it's not even putting myself in the, I'm not even putting myself <laughs> in the predicament. Yo, what happened to Ro? Yo, I heard the nigga went to go catch some Marlins, never made it back. I don't want to be that guy. Yeah. And it's funny because that you mentioned be that, that because the other what day- What happened? He fell off the boat. Nah, nigga, I'm not going to be that guy. And it's funny because my boy Corey, the other day I was, in, I was in Alaska recently and we were on a plane and we went like, we flew over a glacier and did all this shit. And he was like, you know what the fucked up part is? My boy says, Corey, he's like, if me and Josh would have died on our plane, they would have been like, Josh died doing some white people shit. And who gives a fuck? Yo, you, 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 <laughs> you know, you know, you know, and back to the submarine shit. And this is what I'll say. You know, like, I don't get caught up in the fucking politics or whatever, but I, I don't I don't give a fuck about your social status. If you're a billionaire, it, th- there were lives. 
You know, yeah. lives. You know what I'm saying? Lives were lost. There's somebody's parents, family member. No, right? no, you know I what I'm saying? That. So I'm sympathetic to that part. But I will say this. I will say this. What the fuck is you touring the Titanic for? That shit's irrelevant. Another thing that bothered me too is, so it's like this. I don't want to see the Titanic. I don't want to see uh, glaciers. Thing, but another thing that bothered me too is like- a submarine. It's a submarine without an actual mirror window. And they're watching it through three computer screens through a camera. Nah. Bro, at that I didn't point- know, I didn't know that detail. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that no, kind of detail. No, the submarine's not a real submarine. It's yeah. just a tube with a camera and all that bullshit. And they're watching it through a screen. So I'm, it's like- I'm good, son. I'm, I mean, I guess, you know, to each his own, but I- And, and, and you know, cool, I'm sorry for anybody's loss who was on there, but I, I don't see any ethnicity really going to submarines in Antarctica. Just to be honest. No, yeah. I agree. Yeah. I just that's don't... That's very interesting task to do. That's like, that's a brownie point I don't want. Yeah, yeah. And it's, you know again, I mean? it's irrelevant, bro. Yeah. Like how yeah. we were just talking about the other day is like, yeah. it's like me bringing like one of my favorite rappers when I was a jit. It's yeah. irrelevant to these kids yeah. now. So it's like... Yeah. I'm talking about the rap scene right now. That was a topic of discussion in the last clip. So right now, even... So like I told you, I've been going to Houston for the last five years. And again, I listen to, I'm into heavy into music, but I've been stuck on straight Houston rappers, bro. So like right now, um, I could speak on the Houston rappers in this sense. I booked a couple of them for my clubs and it was very successful, the events. And they don't need the rest of the country to be rich. Oh, I know. They could be gazillionaires in the great state of Texas alone. From the powwows to the slim thugs, to the little Kiki's, you know, one of the guys just passed, um, Big Pokey, he okay. just passed, um, unfortunately, and it was, you know, even the social media shit, you know, it's like, gets it gets all the capture. Just even seeing the way he he went out was like, whoa, man, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, hearing his, take his last breath it, that was for his family, but yeah, yeah. I can tell you this, that they are the king or Texas is the king of independent entrepreneurship with music. Like they don't need nobody else but Texas and could it, be completely successful without the rest of the other states. I it. And that's yeah. what I loved about them. You know what I'm saying? Coming from like an East Coast part of town, it was definitely a culture shocker first because the swagger was different. But you respect they hustle. I respect no, they hustle, man. Like, and even their flow, I learned bro. a lot from them, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, I got my cowboy boots and all that shit, too. Oh, Don't get it too. twisted. I got some gators and a couple of shit oh, like yeah. that. But you know what I mean? It, it, it was just definitely a, a different world when I first moved there. But I do respect a lot of hustle with Texas, man. No, right now, I'm not going to lie. Like, one of my favorite rappers over there is... um, Salsa Walker? Nah. I feel like Salsa, Ooh, nah, Salsa Walker, I feel like he's a comedic rapper. He, he's good, though. He, he got but, his lane. But yeah, who, but who, I... Who, 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 Big who Tony, fucking Mexican OT. The one with a tattoo on his head, the chubby guy. Yeah, yeah my, big my, white uh, boy. My, my, uh, my people sold him um, a vehicle, yeah. Who's another? Oh, the baby. The baby. The baby. Who? The baby. The baby, the, the, yeah. the Mexican guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's going. He's going. He's going. He's going, he's yeah, going yeah. good. It's going good. Um, the I junkie fucking, mode. Yeah, yeah. D baby. Yeah, I'm I'm, a, I'm a, um, peso peso. Again, he's kind of like cuz I, I I like flows. I so like you don't story. like the old school cat? You don't like the little kikis or the no, of little course, flips man. or the slim Hell thugs yeah. or the Bro, 25 lighters on my dresser all day, bro. You were tipping on four foes, oh, the Mike yeah. Jones. Talking about them both. Yeah, yeah. Zero. And banging. I uh, hate you. Yeah. Remember that shit? Yeah. Yeah. You gotta yeah, love he got Zero. Like, what's that? Zero's a real depressing motherfucker, but his shit be real. What's that? He made that, bro. But <laughs> Zero made... Nigga, nigga be like, nigga make you want to jump over a cliff. Nigga be like, nah. I'm sad as fuck here. But Zero has that one song. Be real. He has that one song that's with that paid in full song. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's a classic. Yeah. That's a classic. Fire, bro. That's a classic. Yeah, nah, yeah. but I, of course, bro. I mean... I love Florida rappers too, though. I like Trick Daddy. I like oh. Gunplay. Gunplay, my guy. Shout out to Gunplay, bro, man. Used, he gave me a dope interview on the it's podcast. It's funny because I just watched, I was watching that episode. That's I used my, to have Gunplay. He used to perform in my bar all the time. He's Jamaican and Puerto Rican, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's a character and he's down with, he's real Good Florida. dude. Bro, fishing all Good day. Good dude. That's he my guy, fish. man. Good dude. He's he's the real deal. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I like, uh, you know, I like Trick Daddy, of course. I even like JT Money, Poison Clan. Oh. I'm showing my age like a motherfucker. Yeah, I like Trina, too. 
You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah, yeah. No, uh, it's funny because like so the people that serve so verse one used to chill with all those motherfuckers, and they used to bring them to my bar. And I even been to like two years ago. I went to Trina's birthday and all. I like that. Pitbull too. Oh, Pitbull's mm-hmm. a shit. And now he's more of like a an influencer. Shit, that, like, nigga, that nigga a hustler. Nigga, that nigga that nigga, that nigga found his lane and, and ran with yeah. it. Yeah, that 305 yeah. album when he yeah. first came out, Mr. Yeah. 305 was a shit. Yeah, legendary album. Mm-hmm. But um, even now, I mean, the thing is like. The Houston rappers, they just like talk about some dope shit. Like, I just like the storytelling, the flow. You ever drunk lean before? Huh? You ever drunk lean before? Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah? Fuck yeah. That shit was like my favorite. Listen, this I'm on your podcast. This is the first time I ever said this. Because I am a drug-free individual. Hey, that's I have kids. Okay. And and I don't promote using any form of drug whatsoever. But (laughs) but I did try lean one time, many moons ago. Hey, I mean, they they prescribe it. Uh, many moons ago. Sometimes Kids don't do sips. this at home. <laughs> but I was leaving my club, and one of my, my, my associates came, and we were hanging Blow out. Up. <laughs> and he's like, man, try this shit. I'm like, ah, I'm, I'm not fucking with that. You know, I'm all, I'm yeah, all yeah. about business, focused on the money. I'm like, fuck it, let me just try it. I don't know. I, I got a while here that day. Yeah, yeah. So I drank a sip of it with a Sprite. Jolly Rancher, no Jolly Rancher. Jolly Rancher. (laughs) (laughs) What flavor? You remember the flavor? (laughs) Kiwi strawberry. Oh, hell yeah. (laughs) Okay. Okay. And hey, no, that's a memorable. If it's the only one in one and only time, it's memorable. I can't even believe I'm doing you you got me tonight. (laughs) Because I've never expressed this to anybody. So when I drunk that shit, I'm like, ah, nigga, this shit ain't doing nothing. 30 minutes kick in, I'm fucking slumped. You didn't chug the whole cup, though. No, I didn't chug. Oh, I was slow Because some people did that mistake. Don't chug it. Chug it, you're, pa- you're oh, done. done. So I'm slumped, and I'm like, I'm really like, bro, 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 bro. I'm screwed and chopped. They yeah. get like, personally, what I'm like, what is this? Yo, what's the dish going down? I'm really fucking screwed and chopped. They get like, <laughs> so... When I, yo, it got to a point where after a while, I'm like, when is this shit going to wear the fuck off? You know what I'm saying? You know, like weed, you smoke a little weed and then a couple of hours, you're like, oh, you no, eat no, something, no, you're good. No, no. The lean is forever. Like it took a while. So then after I was done, I never forget my man was driving me. I'm like, yeah, you, you gotta- technically take a dose because it's for bronchitis Holy every 12 shit. hours. Yo, so like, so when I'm, I couldn't drive. So I had my man drive and I was so fucking hungry oh, when I was coming down. Hungry. I ate for fucking six men. And I'll never forget, I was eating these fucking $2 McDonald's sandwiches, and but I ate like, like eight of them shit. Your mouth shits. was salivating. And I'm like, ah. yeah. it was like a <laughs> yeah. fucking filet mignon. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what well, he's like, nigga, that lean, that lean nah, get you hungry. Get you like, yeah. So I gained a lot of weight in my belly too. After yeah. you know, I did it Premium one time life. and I get it like, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, you know what? This is, this is not the drug for me. Yeah. I mean, it's low key is kind of crazy, and it's like, bro, a lot of my boys is funny because like, tro, 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 bra, 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 bra. I just how I felt like, bra, bra. You know that that oh, screwed no. and chopped shit. But I was fucked up off that lean. I never do it again though. Very disgruntled. The thing is, it's just mad expensive to be sleepy as fuck. But like the other day, my boys posted they're in the middle of like Stadfers, and they have fucking four. Yo, bottles. somebody can fall asleep at the stoplight. Oh, I believe it. Drinking niggas bro, tell me the story, they fell asleep at the stoplight. I had a bar and you had niggas like poured up and you can just see them like nodding off. They call yeah. it the nod off. Yeah, because it's opiates at the end of the day. Man. So it's, like, it's rough, bro. Cold world. No, Listen it is. to that little flip. I mean, that's little what, flip sound hey, good, slow. What, hey, but that's why I pimp C. sound good, slow. Hey. I, I, a lot of motherfuckers sound yeah. good real slow. You're like, yo, nah, this nigga is nice. You never bro. paid attention to him sober. But when you hear him slow, you're like, yo, he talking shit. But when you're in that level too, it's like that. I'll never do that again. I, I did have my experience, sir. So I think that was my like initiation for being a, a Houstonite. You know what I'm saying? So that was no. That, was that cool. shit was like it's crazy because right cool. now you get I'm a scared whole... to even smoke weed these days. Old well, age is catching up to me, fam. Nah, I feel like there's just so much variation of weed. It's not the weed that we're used to. Yo, one time, so you got to just grow your own shit. One time, I was in New York on business doing some shit. In New York, they're fucking doing it with the weed game. Let me though. tell you something, my man. So I went with somebody. To a fusion restaurant. I am very ignorant to fusion restaurants. Oh, I, I get it. It now. was in the Lower East Side. Yeah. Like I said, I'm a drug free guy. I don't yeah. do shit. I drink, smoke some cigarettes, yeah. but all that extra shit, yeah. I ain't got a tolerance. So I go to the fucking restaurant. 
Low East Side, and it was a gourmet fucking restaurant. I mean, it's five star, place is beautiful, da da da. So I'm like, fuck it, it's Italian shit. Let me get some Italian food. You know? I'm ordering, I never forget, I ordered these garlic knots. You know what garlic knots are? Oh, of course. And I ate one, and I'm like, damn, that shit is good, you know? Ate like six Each of them. Each one's 10 milligrams. Listen, dogs. <laughs> so then I, eat, then I eat some lasagna. So I'm thinking this shit's a regular. 15 milligrams. Yo, 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 true story. So I'm, me, thinking, me, me, me. I'm thinking this shit is regular food. So, that, so then I drink lemonade. Nigga, the lemonade had 25 weed milligrams. In it. Yo. So about 30, You're at 100 milligrams yo, right now. About 30, 40 minutes later, I'm fucking rocked, nigga. Blue. I'm like, yo. Stuck. I get up. I'm trying to walk to the bathroom. I swear it took me an hour to get oh, to the you bathroom. Were like weak knees? I'm weak knees. Then you start overthinking, yeah. what am I doing with my life? <laughs> Why am I like this? Yo, yo, hey. you start reflecting on shit that you ain't supposed to reflect on. So I made it back to the bathroom and shit. I'm pouring water on my face. And 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 the party I was with, I was like, yo, I got a jet. I got to go back to the hotel room. I'm like, what's wrong with you? I'm bugging the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? I'm Now the paranoia is yeah, kicking yeah. in. So I call, I, call, I call an Uber and shit. And I jet back. And let me tell you, I went, I jet, went back to the hotel room. I try to sleep it off. Uh, I mean, the thing is, I like, woke you don't up burn. in the morning. I was still hot. Yeah, yeah. So that's the problem that people really don't know. In your digestive well, system, you don't burn. You don't burn THC when you're awake. That's why you always wake up so droggy. Yo, it's tough. And when when I woke up, I'm like, you know, you start reasoning with God. Yeah. God. I'm never gonna do anything again. I promise again. I'll never do any drugs. You start reading, you're negotiating with yeah. God, right? Yeah. That's how I'm with edibles. And I, yo, edibles will do it to yo. you, bro. You gotta think about edibles right now. They're using it to cure people from heavy opiate problems. So they'll give a nigga that's given like that would take, let's say, like ten perks a day, and they'll give him a thousand milligrams, shake him into a high trauma, and he passes out. That shit's fucked up, though. It is fucked the up, but it's fucked weed. up. You know why the game's fucked up? Because they got the shit look real appealing. You think the shit's gummy bears? It's oh, in the bright yeah. colors of gummy bears. But that shit was shaky, the shit like bro. Chips, bro. bright colors. Oh. So you're rice thinking, man, this shit's just a rice crispy treat. Lemonades. Shit's fucked up. Though. It's almost like a a setup for failure type nah, they're shit. they're just trying to hood, like get a bunch of hood motherfuckers yeah. fucked up. Yeah, because if you don't know <laughs> better, if you don't know better, oh, no. like I wouldn't know better. I'm stupid with that shit. Yeah. So I'd be like, I gave it to my grandma and my mom. I got a sweet tooth right now, nigga. I'm fucking high for sixty days. I told my grandma and my mom it was Jello shots. She was like, all right, cool. Yeah. Dominican Just give woman. me the drinks, man. I get fucked, fucked up. Them up. I'm a I'm a degenerate <laughs> drunk. You know what I'm saying? I yeah, get yeah. fucked up off drink. I, yeah, yeah. I go through the whole bottle of fucking agua de ente in the morning and go eat fried chicken. You know what I'm saying? I'm be that fine. guy. Yeah. But man. I mean, that's I mean, everyone, like you said, everyone has their poison, bro. I drink the agua de ente hot though. Oh. Yeah, but this is cool. That the ice shit is cool. We just throw everything in yeah, the freezer man. here. Nah, that's cool, man. It, you know, it is what it is, man. But nah, bro, it's 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 a tough, it's a tough um. What a life we live. Yeah. It's so hard. Hey, it, we him. talk shit for a living and make money, right? No, hey, it, bro, it is what it is. I hear that. Uh, but it is what it is. Yeah, I definitely, it's not something I can I'm not even going to front you. It. This is way off the subject, but that head is bugging me the fuck out. Which one? Oh, this one? That shit is bugging me the fuck out. Like, That's tell me the story on that. So, basically, um, I had a Spanish studio two bays down. The guy what, actually, like a voodoo doctor? No, 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 no. So there, this guy. Yo, you actually, can hear me clear on the mic, right? Kigo. Sound man. No, we'll wrap it up. But either way, long story short, this head right here. So this this bay, two bays down, is a Spanish studio. They actually had like Grammys and Oscar winning fucking actors come out of there. And I don't know if you ever heard of a show called Sábado Gigante. How you say it in English? Um, Sábado Gigante would be like the Great Saturday. Okay. Like it's a talk show and it's a fucking like. You know, I'll go with you for show. hours, dog. If we keep drinking, oh, we'll, I believe this it. will be a whole drink champ session, <laughs> nigga. It's like two hours and change, nigga. Because the more it. fucked up I get, the, the, the tongue get loose. But pause. Go ahead. You're, no, you're... but what I, basically what it is. So that guy, he had a, he was a Mexican guy. He got in Mexico thirty years. He also. I like, love Mexican people. My son's half Mexican. I love I Mexican people, man. I, I just fuck, fuck them with because them, they're like very tight. So it's like Dominicans. Like you tell a Dominican once that you're Dominican, he got your back for the rest of your life, right. you know? Yeah. So it's like Mexican. Shit, little Jose got some new silver teeth taken off. The whole family coming, nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, they, I hear that. They, they, they come love, in packs. Bro. And I like their- I love they, Mexican people, They just man. show love, bro. That's what Their cool. culture is very family oriented. You know, it, you know, the stereotype, oh, they're going to have like, they got like 80 kids in the house. That's not true, but- 
they, they, I love the fact that they're very family oriented. They help their own. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna tell you an experience. I feel like they're very success out of all the Native Americans because they should be considered as like a race of Native Americans. They were they like are. Aztec and Mayans. Yeah, yeah. But like, like if you everyone, go back, they should get. I'm. I feel like some of them should get checks because they're technically just like a Mikasuki, a, a black Mexican foot. people to me are the 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 most I was successful most... And, and 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 very family oriented population. Oh no, I love sure. that about them, man. Yeah, yeah. And they work together. They support yeah. their own a lot. Like one of my best, like one of my good friends, bro. That nigga had a shop with four brothers, and I always didn't envy it. I admired it, you know, because it's like, bro, your oldest brother tattoos, you know. He learned how to tattoo because he's Jew. Then he taught his little brother how to tattoo. Then his, keep it in then the family. He was born. So there's keep three it in brothers the family. Yep. now own the shop, bro. My boy, he's my age, but he's been working in the tattoo shop for 15 years. You know what I mean? That's dope. They had such a tight bond in tattooing. They had such a look that they were like, fuck it. We're going to teach dad how to tattoo. Bro, the niggas had their dad, their OG 65, doing an apprenticeship to work with them. And they're caught in their tattoo shop. was called like Bonded the by whole, Blood the whole... by Ink. Bro, sick. The whole, you know, and this is me, you know, I ain't getting into politics, none, but I just think even just the whole Latino uh, heritage are very supportive to each other oh, than sure. any other race, my opinion. No, they are. Than any they other are. race And it's on funny because, like, we love you know to I mean? talk shit about each other, but we definitely look but out. Like, let's put it this way. <laughs> shit hit the fan, and, and there's a Dominican, a Puerto Rican, and a Mexican, and they're getting in a fight with, you know, I'm, and I'm, look, don't quote me for none of this. They get in a fight they see some Russians picking on a Dominican, right? And there's a Dominican, a Puerto Rican, and a Mexican, right? But he sees some Russians picking on a Dominican. You better believe that Puerto Rican, that Mexican, they coming to help that Dominican. Oh, hell yeah. Because they ain't going to let the Russians beat yeah. up. And I love everybody. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. just using this example. No, you know what I'm cool saying? And the cool thing is, like, and it goes back to whatever... It don't matter. At the end of the day, it ain't matter. You Dominican, you put a, we Latino. No, exactly. You feel me? And another thing is, like, I, I respect was that say, about the culture. The fact man. is, like, even though we might have just met each other, like that Mexican, Puerto Rican, Dominican, they know. They always like, oh, I know this. There's one a Puerto code. Rican. Yeah. There's a fucking code, yeah. man. But they all had like, I have a Dominican homie, or I have a Puerto Rican homie. So once you tell them that, it's like, yo, that's always what. It, there's a hey, code. I got a Dominican nigga that I love. It's yeah, like, there's a so code. They just expect it, you know. There's so a code. It's like, yeah. You know, it's like empanadas, yeah. motherfucking it's all platanos, the same shit. tamales, it's all, the same all that shit. shit, right? But it's still Latino. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. they make the their culture. fucking tamales or corn. That. I make with plantain. I grew up. I grew, you know, I think the blessing in growing up in New York is it's a melting pot. I think the blessing to grow out in the East because like it's a melting pot. She man. She just moved over here from Houston, and right. her whole life. I mean, the only real Spanish people you get over there is fucking. I ain't gonna lie, Mexicans. you look mad white, but you know it's all love. I love white Columbia. people. I love everybody. You know what I'm saying? Wera, 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 wera. Isn't that what they call it? Wera, wera. Yeah. Mona. Well, wait, well, how do you say Colombian? Colombian? Mona. Yeah, Dominicans call them rubias. But it's funny because in DR... I love white people. No, but even like we call like really, really dark girls, yeah. we call them rubias, which Ru is a blonde. Rubia? Yeah, it's like, like a rum, ru, It's not like a dance, nigga. Yeah, rubia. rubia. <laughs> no, la rubia. Hello, this is DJ Arralo. Because it's a rubia. <laughs> <laughs> but no, so I was telling her the dope part of being born in the East, bro. There's so many... You get so many I'm different Spanish... I'm having fun. I'm glad I came. Hey, this bro. made my night, man. This is what we Shout do out here. to my nigga Lust, man. Hey, that's what we're doing this, here, My nigga Lust. Casual. I had a I little... Vibe. I had a little... Uh, a great interview before, but... At the at the fourth quarter, I was a little tisk. But this really made my night. Go ahead. Hey, bro. That's yeah, what go we ahead. Do. But the thing is, like, bro, bo being born in the East, you get so many different of, like... So, like... You get different types of black people. You get different types of Asian people. Yeah, you, got you get different. Like once you keep moving across America, it gets very like it's just Mexican. You know what I mean? Or it's just Japanese. Or it's just Korean. It gets real one yeah, dimensional. Yeah, yeah, very. But in the East, it's oh, it, there's variety. But it's because you got to understand where everyone's today? coming do from. Do I want Dominican food? Yeah. Or do I want Puerto and you can have, food? And you can have like a Japanese, Chinese, Thai, and fucking Korean spot all I'm next to each other. I love everybody. For the record, I love everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But let me tell you about Asian people, them motherfuckers go anywhere. You be in the middle of Iowa with motherfucking Mormons. Bet you the niggas got Mormon, some kind bro. of business out there. I bet. You used to be Mormon? Yeah. You but you Since Dominican nigga. How the fuck is you Mormon? My dad was Mormon. I Ain't was that like Mormon. the Quaker Oaks nigga? I mean, he might have been. Who fucking knows? You ever Joseph seen Smith. Quaker Oaks? You yeah, remember yeah, the yeah, Quaker? Yeah, yeah. The nigga with the hat. I mean, Joseph Smith looked like the Quaker Oaks guy, so who the fuck knows? It's an old ass. You movie. was a Mormon? 
Bro, he got born. like y'all allowed to have like six wives or some shit like that, right? So the original Mormons were, and then this guy. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie though. A Mormon kind of like on some pimp shit. Kind of. I got six wives, six kids. But he, I mean, they still kind of have to like supply all of them. It's like a pimp. Like he comes, he gets the money from the bitches. So you he got, had, they, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. You, like, don't, you, don't, you don't open up a whole new conversation. No, we, because if you watch that Mormon show with the guy that had all so the wives. So he got six wives. Bro, the nigga owned a culture sack. And the wives. The bitches didn't get the culture sack. He got the money. He got the money. He got the culture sack. And the then Mormon built five different is houses. pimping, son. And I mean, I guess pimping genetics, but they're all weird as But don't niggas be like on wagons and shit? Them niggas don't believe in technology, no, it's right? crazy. So talking about wagons, one time when I was a kid, we had to walk 30 miles with a with a You bear. mind, son. You was a Mormon? All right, let's, re let's hold on. <laughs> Lust. I know this is your interview, but I have to rephrase yeah, the question. Yeah. I can't rephrase on the question. How the fuck is a Dominican nigga a Mormon? So in New York, is actually popular, bro. Because the fact is like... Y'all Dominican nigga be hustling, though. Y'all nigga probably became Mormon because you can have six wives. No, because the Mormons that we were in, so there's two different types of Mormons. So there was a nigga that decided, is like, we're going to go into this whole monogamy state of mind. And then... What's monogamy mean again? Forget my ignorance. Monogamy is when you just fuck one person. Oh, okay. Like, close it's like relationship. like a relationship. Yeah. Okay. Boom. Polygamy, you can fuck whoever the fuck you want. Multiple people. But so you're still... polygamy is when you're, you just sink, you're, it, sink a dick in mad holes. Yeah, but you got to... Obviously, you're not hiding it. You're telling... I'm telling you, look, I'm fucking her, yeah. but your sister too. Yeah. Okay. Polygamy. So, yeah, polygamy. Oh, poly with a P. Poly. 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 Yeah, polygamy. <laughs> oh, this shit is crazy. So it's like the world we so live in. the thing is like that whole polygamy aspect of like Mormonism came back, and don't even really quote the fucking date, but like I want to say in the forties, this nigga was like, hold up, we you're used to still, be polygamists. Yes, Mister Lust, you're still not answering my question, sir. How? How I was a born. Dominican? I was born a Mormon. My dad moved, no, so my dad moved to Puerto Rico, met some niggas that were Mormon, boom, he became Mormon, moved to moved So it's to the like heights. a religion, kind of. No, it's, bro, it's the same thing as a fucking Christian. But nigga it's just like six wives. It's like Baptist. They're but nigga have six wives. Yeah. But that's a, like a Look, separate- Look, God, I'm going to follow all your rules, but just give me six bitches in, on earth. Yeah. Excuse me. I guess. Me. If that's, oh. what you, that's what they want, yeah. But that's a whole different, it's very cultic in a way, but it's like- I'm it's just, just saying, a, it's though, just a region. It is kind of fly if you look at it from a different angle. I mean, people do it now, bro. Respect. They don't even. Yeah, and they don't even have to be. And you don't even have to be a Mormon. There's people out here just fucking. See, I guess I'm so primitive. When I think of Mormon, right? I think of like a wagon, a yeah, horse. Yeah, yeah. No, but that's real. I think a guy with a big round black hat, bro. What was oh, that? That's Amish. That's yeah, Amish. They are pretty much the same shit because of, so Amish people fuck with a hole in the sheet. The uh, Mormons got to fuck with a gown. <laughs> so. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I was so trying to laugh and I swallowed the smoke. <laughs> Wait. So they fuck with a hole in the cheek, for, in, in the sheet, fam. Yeah, so the so Amish. So that, like the, the, the so condom? Amish full up. No, no, no. Because the Wait, thing no, is it's a hole in the sheet. What are you so saying? the whole thing okay. about sex to the Amish is more about reproduction versus <coughs> like fuck, pleasure. I swallowed that shit. Versus <clears throat> having pleasure. So they they. But why the sheep? Because it just breaks them. So it's just a fuck. No more interaction. You're here to reproduce. Because they don't also Amish don't fuck for fun. You know what I mean? They okay, just so fuck. Let me let me let me to comprehend babies. this business transaction. So the Mormons are so on the, the same level. The woman lays naked. Naked man naked. But Joseph naked. and what's the most then Mr. Has Amish? <laughs> yeah. Lays the sheet. Suzanne. Yep. On, on Suzanne. Suzanne. Yep. So Teddy lays the sheet on Suzanne. Yeah. Theodore. Let's no, make Joseph. It more That's more like biblical. Joseph, Joseph they, lays the sheet. They always got the weird names like that. On Suzanne. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And then Joseph, Joseph gets a scissors. The whole perfect. No. It's already a hole. It's the same sheet every time. Ooh, no, they wash it, guys. Take the it easy. Stains on but it's the sheet. Hey. No, because he should be hitting the pocket. There's a hole in the sheet, bro. <laughs> wow. This is so interesting. So they lay the sheet on top of them, but they got a hole in the sheet. So, and Joseph blams her to reproduce. Yeah. He never takes the, the sheet and wipes himself. Sheet. He gets up and goes away. That's gangster. That's it. That's so gangster. Yeah. And then she's back. I'll be back, back in nine months. Cows. She no, no. She's in the she's in the field. And then he goes to another room and lay another sheet down. No, no, only her. 
Because Amish oh, people don't really... It's not Amish, polygam... What's the word? Mon, Amish are more uh, monogamous. Mormons. Yeah. But that now we're going back to Mormons. So Mormons... We, not we, because I'm not an active Mormon. That shit's crazy to no, me, it's though. Crazy. But a I sheet going to divide it. Yeah. I'm feeling your nipples on a sheet. Hey, but you're not really supposed to touch each other. It's just like. Get the fuck out of here. I mean, that's man. the same. Come on. It's not supposed, it's supposed to be strictly I'm business. I'm just laying down. You might you're as well go to fucking Tia Wine and stick your hole in a fucking, in a hey. wall. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, what's that called? Um, you know what I'm talking about? Glow, ho, um, yeah, they got my man, my man in the military told me about that. You heard about that shit? They got the whorehouse in Tijuana, right? So he go, he, when he was but in the military, they'd go away to Tijuana. He's stationed in California. And when they go Tijuana's to Tijuana, rough. they go to the whorehouse. So he was like, yo, I'd go to the whorehouse because I'm like, yo, I need a fix. I ain't seen a woman in fucking yeah. 12 months. But Glory Hole can be a man so boy. He's stick his dick in a fucking, in a, in a hole, in a wall. You don't know what's on the oh, other yeah, side. Yeah, it could yeah. be a fucking cow, a pig. Yeah, yeah, you don't yeah, know what the yeah, fuck yeah. it is. I know. And you're fucking a fucking hole in the wall. Yeah. I'm like, nigga, that's risky. Wild. Nigga, you, that's savage. That's how you make COVID. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> they oh. said we ate bats. It was niggas oh, in Tijuana fucking, fucking holes in the wall. Fucking holes in, fucking holes in Proven Tijuana. here. <laughs> oh, my God. But no, nah, so basically Thank a Mormon. so education. Mormon. Yes. So, you, so the crazy thing is a Mormon will wear this fucking, they wear like a, a see-through like silk shirt under it. Like, like so, you put your wife beater over this. So the nigga you feel it, but he don't that. feel it. No, exactly. And it's weird, bro. Because, the arousement. Like, imagine the wearing silk, silk sheets. Imagine wearing silk and then putting regular boxes over it and then putting your tank top over it. Mormons literally wear shit like that. And it's kind of weird to me because like their body is not supposed to touch any fabric other than our holy fabric. It's where kind of nigga ain't gotta wear touch nothing. It's fucking weird, bro. Yeah, you still feel it. You know what I mean? The but Mormons are nuts, bro. I mean, the motherfuckers. You educated me today. Hey. I, you know, we, I, I don't know, no, we probably shutting down, but this yeah. is a fucking great conversation. Hey, man. Shout that's out to I'm my here. man, Lust. And that's man. what, and that's Listen. what I mean. I feel like that's what I'm here we for. We talked about wild shit, man. That's because you'll see me a certain way and be like, damn, this nigga knows some shit. Yeah, you know, you're educated. You're a diver. Hey, bro. You're a Mormon, ex Mormon. You're a reptilian, an artist. Okay. We're Shit, here, man. I'm glad to know that we're allies, brother. Hey, bro. You know? Pleasure to have you, man. Yes, man. Thank this you was for still, having me, dope. man. But, this um, was fun. I needed this. Besides that, just give I us a little- I haven't been interviewed in a long time, so this was When was great. the last time? Shit. When I was promoting the documentary, Road Dollar Road to the Riches on Amazon Prime. Hey, Please make sure you check it $2.99 for the rental. But <laughs> besides that, um, I, uh, I, I, I was promoting for two years on multiple podcasts, so it was fun doing the interviews, but- then I got into interviewing people, so this was great that somebody else is grilling me a little bit. But you know, I you know. do it in a fly way. I like your style. I'm vibing, bro. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm, I got to stay on point with you. You James Bond with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, Yo, let me double back. It's like a sword fight. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, uh, That's bro. dope. Zorro, nigga. But, but yeah, so. um, so for the most part, like, where can people continue like to see you, follow you? What Tell you? them to check me out. Um, please like and subscribe. At Road Dollar TV. And if you can't spell, if you're illiterate, it is R O D O L L A H T V. Okay. Like and subscribe or go to Instagram. If you can't spell, or you're illiterate or you got ADD, it's at R O D O L L A H T V. And how often are you dropping these, by the I'm way? I'm doing these gonna... shits fucking. I'm, this is my hustle right now. So I'm on it like all day, every day. I eat, sleep, and shit this podcast shit it's my hustle so this is what i do i'm out the club business so this is what i do you know what i mean i, I got you, goals i got destinations to reach feel me i'm on that yes I'm on sir that, man i I'm love it man it. this is dope i love this spot now you met a jamaican you haven't been to jamaica but even if you can't put the big boy on the ceiling just put like a little flag somewhere no, bro. You see what I'm saying? it's yeah. funny because my last interview jamaican nigga was my boy he actually um he's a big artist and he was actually chilling he just got he just got signed with the same um, company that Sean Paul got signed by. Just give it a like. Bro, he's Liquid actually- Liquid mean rewind. The gunshot mean forward. You requested it, so we rewind. Hey, that's a good song. <laughs> but, hey, that was My a classic nigga. song. Yeah. But no, sh shout out to Sean Paul, because he's actually in the top 100, bro, and that's yeah. dope. He's a, he's, he's a, a, you know, it's so funny. I'm, 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 you know, but we ain't got time, so no, we can't no, even no. talk about that. But either way, but man, he's a good pleasure. dude. No, he is. He's a good dude, From and I'm proud of him. Like I'm proud he represent the country well. And then Kabak Kabak just took an award, so I was like, bro, Jamaica's up. Yeah, we up right now. Yeah, yeah. Got all the memes about our shit. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna slander nobody, but I ate some fucking brown stew chicken last night. That shit did numbers on me. Hey, That's a whole other story. But, but yo, we're here. I'm loving Shout it. Shout out to my man Dope. Lust. Hey, thank you. Nah, thank my you, my brother. Man. Thank you. But um, yeah, this is talk about with Lust. I'm your host, Lust. Till next time. And we fucking killed another one. Bingo, bing, hey. bong, motherfuckers. We own it. <laughs> we own it. <laughs> We're done.
Salud. Salud. Love it, man. It was fun. I had a blast. Let me know when you get it, Eddie, man. Send it to me. I'll definitely.